What a do you too? Welcome to my channel, Legacy Studios Nash. My name is Paul the Fifth. Fifth. What's up? Hope everybody's doing good. If you've been keeping up with me recently, you might know that I moved things from the studio to my apartment here in Berry Hill. I've got drums behind me and I obviously can't play drums in an apartment setting. However, I can play my acoustic guitar. Thankfully, I'm on the end of the complex and I can also use my MIDI keyboard to program things. So if you've seen anything from the last year up until this point, you know it's been a journey. Some ups and some downs. Right now, I'm kind of in the down spot, but I'm making a sacrifice to get myself from here to here. And I think it's going to be worth it. Check this out. No sacrifice, no victory. Yeah, one of my favorite movies of all time, Transformers. I love it for the graphics and for the audio sound effects. So while I'm on this journey, I need some assistance. If you're able to support me by watching these videos, it really gives me a lot of incentive to keep moving forward. The whole reason I moved everything from the studio home is I just wasn't getting the clientele that I needed and wanted. I was just breaking even at the end of the month. So my plan is to take everything I'm spending at the studio, put it into a savings account and let it build and build and build. So hopefully this time next year, I can buy a house and have a home studio. I will greatly appreciate your support and understanding during this live transition. I'm gonna keep continuing to make videos for you. I obviously can't play drums, but I'll show you how to program things. And I'm gonna continue on with mixing. And the other thing is, if you wanna support me financially, that's up to you, but I sure would appreciate it. The links are gonna be in the description for my Venmo and Cash App. Sure would appreciate you. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some acoustic panels. I've got some two inch acoustic foam from Amazon and I'm gonna use some cardboard boxes. If you're ready, let's do this. Before I show you how to make these panels, let's discuss the importance and why you need to have these. Depending where you're at in most rooms, things aren't gonna be really acoustically treated. So if you're listening on speakers, that sound is hitting the walls and it's bouncing all over the place, right? Well, what's that doing for the way that you hear things or interpret it? Since that sound is bouncing around, you're not really getting an overall real good solid reference of what that sound is giving you. So having these acoustic panels in your listening space is going to help absorb and diffuse that sound. But can you just put them wherever you want so it looks cool? No. What you want to do is, do you remember the 90 degree rule or the sweet spot? So think of an isosceles triangle. Everything is distant from here to here to here. That's how your monitoring situation needs to be. Let's say this is where you're sitting. You need to have your speakers maybe three feet this way and then three feet from the cones this way. So that's going to give you what's called the sweet spot and the ultimate listening position. So after we build these, I'll show you where I'm going to put these here in my apartment. What you'll need. Leftover cardboard boxes, foam paneling, preferably two inches, a hammer, knife, tape measure, crazy glue, and a wall mounting kit. Just a real quick word before we get started, and I feel like this is common sense, but if you live in an apartment or you rent from someone, just make sure it's okay to do these types of projects and uh, make sure it's okay to hang stuff up on your wall. You also might want to do this outside or in a well ventilated area because you'll need crazy glue or some type of glue and that might get you a little. So I ordered some pizza the other night and they do this contactless delivery thing. They'll put this down on the ground and they'll put their box on top of that. Then they'll stand about six feet away from me. So I thought, you know what? Let's say these two boxes will open them up. And I've got some Amazon boxes here too. Whoops. So what we might be able to do is get like three on here. So that'll work. So let's see what we can do with these here. Break these down. And if there's one thing that you'll learn from me here at Legacy Studios is always cut away from yourself. I say that in all my unboxing videos. I don't know if we can do anything with this or not. Yeah, that might work. Let me go get some more foam. Pick 
panels, panels, panels. This is gonna be fun. So, we can get that to work. And let's stick with another red or maroon. Cool, that'll work. All right, let's break down a big boy. I could actually make. All right, so here's my process on this. This piece of cardboard needs to be glued to this one. So we'll get our crazy glue, just put a little bit on here. Last week when I was moving stuff, I accidentally left some of this out. It spilled. By the time I realized it the next day, I tried to clean it up, it was rock solid and Real quick, we'll just put this on here like that. Press down. And when I was trying to clean this up, I got it all over my hand and I had cardboard and glue and tape all over my hand. And it was a nasty, disgusting, terrible mess. And it was not easy to get off. So be very, 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 very careful with that. One thing I found that really helps with this process is creating an outline with the glue. It does a couple things. It really helps for even distribution, but it also makes sure that everything adheres really smoothly and everything gets glued the way that it needs to. So that way all the corners, the middle is all glued properly. So that way nothing is falling off. I like to make sure everything is as, as even as possible. Then I let time and glue do its work. Now that this first piece is glued on here, we'll just take our glue again, put some glue on here. Wow, stuff is strong. It's making my eyes water. I told you, cool, put that right here. And then what I'll do on this is on the uh, press. We'll let that do its thing. The middle one, same thing. We'll just take some glue, put that up here so it doesn't spill. We'll take this. Line it up, make sure everything is perfectly even. Well, as much as I can. And then we'll just press. Then we'll flip this around. This area here, more glue. Then we'll put this here. Flutter. Okay, that's pretty much it. This one was a little different just because this piece of cardboard needs to be glued to this. The rest of them are very simple. We'll follow the same process. We'll rinse, wash, and repeat. Then we'll get things hung up. I'll catch you in a few. I put my old MacBook Pro and iPad along with some other notebooks on the foam in an attempt to make things dry a little quicker. Hopefully it worked. Overall, I think we've reached a point of success. These have been tempering for about an hour or two. There we go. I've 
got a little work to do on these bigger ones. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and cut the edges off to make everything a little more flush. And then what we'll do on the backs, we'll take the knife again and we'll cut a little slit right here. And then we'll take our clips, put it in the slit here, nail it in the wall, and we're good to go. I'm gonna slice those up real quick and we'll be right back. So here's the new setup. This room is not the most ideal when it comes to dimensions. This way is eight feet and this way is 13 and a half. And then over in the back side of it, there is a big area where it goes into another room. So sound has the capability to bounce all over the place. So when I was talking about the sweet spot earlier, the desk is six feet this way. I've got the monitor set up where they're five feet from cone to cone and then five feet from cone to here. So this is the optimum sweet spot. So where do we want to install these panels that we just made? What we want to do is make sure when the sound comes out of the speaker, it hits that wall and it's being absorbed by those panels. Same thing for this one here. The sound comes out here and it goes to that back wall. I have got a little laser pointer and I'm gonna use this to demonstrate things. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So from this speaker, the cone, is going up right around the top and the neck of that guitar. So I do have a foam panel up there already. Let's take a look at this speaker. So I got myself a new futon because the other one, I couldn't take it apart. I didn't have the tools for it. Therefore, I couldn't get it to fit in my band to bring it here. So on this speaker here, let me come stand in this corner. I'm gonna be out of the frame for a second. Putting the stylus on the cone. We'll see that in this back corner here by the Legacy Studio sign, there is where the placement needs to be. And that's where I put the phone earlier at the beginning of this video. Since the room is rather open on that side of the wall, there is no wall, it's all one continuous room. I think what we'll do is put some more panels like right back here underneath my softbox. We'll put one underneath the sign. We'll put one right here. And then we'll probably put a panel like underneath the window as well to help with some of that absorption and diffusion. So that way sounds not bouncing off all over the place. And that should help. So we'll take our X-Acto knife and put a little slit like right up here. And we'll take our hanger, place that in here, pull that down, push up, there we go. And then we'll just hammer that in. And there we go. So here's this wall. I think I'm gonna incorporate two things here. The one that I just built and one that I've had for some time. I'm gonna put this small one like right here, then I'll put this one right like that. I'll be back. Actually, we'll just time lapse this. All right, there we go. I've got some of these pins from like Walmart. This is kind of loose, so I think I might pin these in the wall. And again, just make sure that wherever it is that you live, that it's okay to do that type of a thing. But well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was my process on how I put these foam panels together that you see behind me. I thank you so much for watching today. If you learned anything or gained any value from today's content, I sure would appreciate those thumbs up. You know what to do, smash that subscribe button, comment, all that great stuff. All right, again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.